some reason, it looks a little cool to me. Those are some huge feet. They are huge, unpainted feet as well. It's the little things that make sneakers special. I do not like the Statue of Liberty is crown. I like the sword. I like the sword a lot, actually. I like his gun. And that'll be it. Hey, what's going on, BBC fans? Welcome back. I'm Bobby, a.k.a. Bot. And I'm James, and I'm the Kong. And let's jump into some exciting news. All right, so let's start off with what was announced. There's a lot of this, but we're going to start off with something that's not a toy, but still made out of plastic. And that is the Cinemark Rise of the Beast popcorn bucket. So it has LED eyes, and it's actually pretty cool. So when I go see the movie, I'm definitely probably going to pick one of these up. I got the Ant-Man one. Mind as well add this to the collection. So I've never seen these before. Maybe it's because I don't pick, I don't like popcorn. So I think <laughs> I'll be picking one up too, though. Yeah, it, it's it's close enough to G1 Optimus that I think you'll be happy with it. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool yeah. enough. I can I can do that. Yeah. So. Maybe cool. we'll have a review on these soon. One minute <laughs> review. So exactly. keeping away from the transforming toy still, we've got the Rise of the Beast sneakers collection. I just had to put this in there because it really annoys me that Primal has an Autobot symbol on all of the stuff with him. Should have a Maximal symbol. You know, I can't even argue with you on that. I makes perfectly good sense to me for them to uh to put a maximal symbol on there so i totally agree yeah i mean i understand it's marketing but you know still little things that make sneakers special but um, are you gonna get a pair i could be wrong but i think these are all kids for kids well i mean but even oh, if yeah, they yeah. weren't, no, they're definitely not my style. <laughs> <laughs> no, no matter if. Now, they did have some, like, slippers. I might get a few, you know, Optimus Primal House slippers. But again, they have Autobot symbols. So it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my feet would fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into the actual toys. And we're going to start off with Earthspark. And the first thing is, is we've got in packages images of Grimlock, which we talked about a few episodes ago, or maybe more than a few, and Nightshade. So that Nightshade's kind of a controversial character here. And this is our first look at their toy. Um, what do you think of these guys, Bobby? So... I think we liked the Grimlock a little bit. We did. Yeah. And the Nightshade, for some reason, it looks a little cool to me. I don't know why. Yeah, the head I agree. Is cool. Yeah. I Do you know what? Okay. Do you know what it turns into? Um, no, probably some type an, of bat or, or an owl. Or, oh, that's right, the owl. Yes, I do remember. And I think that's actually a really cool alt mode. So um, if it looks good, I might actually pick it up just for the sake of having a unique alt mode. Yeah, I can't say I have an owl in my collection, so. I do, but. Um, of course you do. Yeah, and his name's Prowl. You know what? That is a good name for an owl. <laughs> in multiple different ways. His name's technically I mean, Prowl 2, so. I probably yeah okay I was I was okay with just proud but I'm okay <laughs> they with wanted that. to differentiate him from the G1 one I thought you would appreciate that I I can appreciate that proud junior or something like that you know <laughs> but <laughs> junior <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on and here we have Earth Spark Megatron and the One Step Changer so again I think this looks perfectly fine for a kid's toy man how far Megatron has changed. Yeah, I also don't like that he doesn't have a Decepticon symbol. They made up this new symbol, so he wouldn't be a Decepticon or an Autobot, so they're kind of showing him fall from grace. I'm assuming I have not watched the show, so please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, but I'm 
assuming that's what that weird purple circle symbol is for. And I, yeah. I don't get it. Just make him a Decepticon from the get-go. I still need to watch the show. I said I was going to yeah. try to watch a couple of episodes. I do too. I, I, I haven't even... And Translus is going to be in it, which makes me even more interested. Yeah. So next we have Warrior Starscream. So this is part of their open box line that I think Thrash was part of. So here's Starscream. Um, and this looks like just a repaint from the Cyberverse Starscream that got repainted to Oblivion and back. So if you guys still need it and you want it, you're going to have another chance. Those are some huge feet. They are huge unpainted feet as well. Jeez, it looks like my, my Great Dane's feet. <laughs> you can call him Anakin. Yeah, um, exactly. Next, we have a weird character. Now, this is Jawbreaker. Don't know nothing about him, but I kind of like it. It's so weird. I like that he becomes this little stocky, brawn-looking type of guy. He has a little pistol. Looks like he has all of ball joints in all the right places. So if I see him for fifteen ninety nine, I might get him. I don't even know what he turns into. Some sort of dinosaur. But it doesn't look like a dinosaur that I know. So um, I might be picking this up, though. I like his gun. And that'll be it. <laughs> Well, you're to hear he's gonna buy it for the gun. Yeah, um, <laughs> negative. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get away from these transforming figures. Who needs those? And let's look at the Super Seven Transformers Beast Wars. So these ones mm -hmm. don't transform; they're just an individual figure. Um, they're good for what they are. I think they look great on a wall unopened. I really like the the, um, the Black 90s Black. packaging that they did. Um, but Black Arachnia looks really strange with that arm position she's got. <laughs> Megatron looks fine, but I'm probably going to stay away from these. Especially when they're like 20 bucks a pop. Yeah, I, I'm, not a beast, I'm not really a Beast Wars fan like that. I do have some in my collection. These look good for what they are, as you mentioned. Uh, the Cheetor looks really good. Um, Dinobot looks pretty good. But I I don't see adding these to... Or, or even starting a collection of uh, non-transforming figures with these. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that I would get them for is to put them on my wall of an open figures. Because they do look good in their packaging. But again, I'm not going to spend 20 bucks to do that. No. I'll I have, have enough transforming figures that I haven't removed <laughs> from their packaging. So let's keep it going. And right here, we've got Fun B Studios War for Cybertron Prime. And this is their sword. So they're making the sword that it was seen in, I believe, the second game. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and it's pretty well done. What do you think about this? I like the sword. Yeah. I like the sword a lot, actually. And again, I'm Every time I see something from them, it makes me want to get a 3D printer. And so, I, but I, really, I really do like the sword. I like the colors in it. It looks really good. Yeah, they did a really good job with the sword and bringing it to life. Um, honestly, I don't like this sword. It looks like it should be a dagger, not a sword. It just has that weird proportions to it, in my opinion. Um, but that's not on Funby Studios. They did an amazing job bringing this thing to life. So let us know if you're going to be picking one of these up. I think you should. No, I'm good. Um, next, we have a uh, surprising to me. This is Make Toys Contact Shot, and they're getting a reissue. So I think this was just announced. So if you're like me and you missed out on this guy, you can get it. I probably won't be getting it just for the sheer fact that I don't know if we will be getting the other guys in this trilogy. I think it's, who is it? Sure Shot and... Um, the blue and red guy. His name escapes me. But I would need all three of them to be happy. I know you already have this figure, correct? I do. I actually picked it up um, off of somebody the year at uh, TFCon we met, actually. TFCon LA. Mm -hmm. I, I picked it off of Adrian. Appreciate you, Adrian. And so 
I'm really excited that they're re-releasing it finally because it was it took forever to find. Yeah. And so I really like the figure as well. Point Blank was one of my favorite Target Masters as a kid, so I, I really am happy about it. Yes, so pick it up if you need it. Um, I will be hesitantly waiting because I would need the other two of the three. Another 3D printed thing. Here's Iocon 3D Labs. They are making the Arc Energy Recharging Station. So this has lights. Um, it has red, green, blue, yellow, ice blue, pink, and light green lights. It already comes with the batteries. And then it has two energy conductor rods. So I'm assuming that's part of the show. Um, and you can see it right here with a Legends Optimus Prime in it. So this is Legends scale. So if you guys need to bump up your Legends collection with that big arc that we showed off in the last video, you can also get this. I'm trying to figure out wh what continuum this is from because I don't remember it in G1 at all. It's a cool idea, but I just don't remember it from anywhere. So if, if somebody can tell us where this comes from, unless you know, James. Uh, no, I, w I was going to ask you that. I'm assuming it's from some episode yeah. from G1. Yeah, the energy rods. I mean, that came from the first episode with, you know, Bumblebee collecting them. But I don't remember anyone standing in a pot. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I wish... If I knew the episode and it was bigger, I may pick. I may have picked it up for an MP scale, but I like the, I, I like lights, and I think that's what got me. Yeah, yeah. And I think this would look actually really cool in display with the lights going on and stuff. But it's legend scale. Maybe a deluxe will fit it in or something. Mm. <laughs> so, moving on to something I think you'd be interested in. Here's Toy Easy's. USS Wisconsin Battleship. So this is their American one. That's a villain. They did the Japanese villain, the German villain, and now we're getting the American villain. And what do you think about this? I do not like the Statue of Liberty is crown <laughs> on the figure. It's a little that too is, much on the head. It's on, throwing on me off. It's really, really throwing me off. And so I, I literally can't get past that. I, I love the... It's it's probably removable. I, I it probably is. It, it's just since it's such a big, it's an eyesore actually for me right now. Looking at it, it it's and it could be because of the color. You know, maybe when they do the uh, a full color scheme on it, maybe it doesn't look as bad. But it's just I don't know. But I do like the I like the guns on the shoulder. That's really cool. Well, it's funny because. I kind of like it more than the others because of that Liberty <laughs> thing that it has going on. It's unique. It's different. It's obviously an evil American ship, and I am totally down for anything like that. But I think you might buy it because of the ship mode. That this I looks do. really nice. It really does. And, you know, I'm, I'm in on these ships uh, simply because, you know, as a kid, we didn't really have many ships. You know, we had Broadside. You know, as a triple changer and um, uh, sea spray, pretty much, you know, that, that was that's all I could think of. And so I'm in for all of these. I, I love the way they look in alt mode. And hopefully, you know, since the, the first toy easy one, the second one was a little bit better. Hopefully the next ones improve on that. So um, I'm in for it. Now, will you be getting this even though it's not part of the combiner? Yes. Oh, you're buying all of them. I think so. And, and let until well, you you need to you need to get Sergio or whatever that gun was. Then yeah, I, I do have a pre-order in for that. Oh my god, he already got one. I don't <laughs> even need to convince him. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Well, we're gonna have to see all those together soon, hopefully, because I am very interested. I will live vicariously through you. Yeah, yeah, they're my dark ar my dark armada. Are they all going to be on the same team? I th I think so. I have to start seeing, you know getting them in hand and seeing how the colors kind of go together and things that will really determine you know who's good, who's bad, who's on the fence. Yeah, 
that'll be that'll be interesting. And that's another reason why I think I'm out on these guys is their colors are too samey. I understand they're going for historical accuracy. I get it. All the ships look the same, but that doesn't mean I have to buy them all. <laughs> so let's move on to something. So this is a. I don't know if this is just a 3D model or if this was a announcement, but I still put it in because I think it's a good talking point. So here's its robot mode. Looks pretty normal. It's a little different. I like the colors, I gotta say. Here's the dino mode, so it turns into a dinosaur. But it has those weird things on the top, which translate to its third mode, which is a sniper rifle. So I don't know if this is by NBK who did our sniper rifle, if this is something completely different, or, you know, take this with a grain of salt, it might just be somebody's project that they're working on, their 3D modeling project. I don't know, but it does look pretty cool. I like it. I I know we we both picked up the sniper rifle again at TFCon. I actually picked up both sniper rifles now. And so I would definitely love to add this to my collection. I also liked, you know, if it is a, a take on maybe a shattered glass Grimlock or something like that. And the bot mode, that sword looked amazing. And yeah. so, you know, I I really, really would pick this up. And if oh, it's 3D nice. printed, I'm upset because I don't have a 3D printer. But that means <laughs> that I, there's something else I would have to, you know, invest in. Invest in. Yeah. Well, speaking of Shattered Glass Grimlock, let's just get right into the updates. And the first thing is in hand images of Shattered Glass Grimlock. <laughs> so the colors are vastly different from the one we just looked at, but I can still see it working. So what do you think about this, Bobby? You know, it's funny. I realized. Uh, yesterday that there's a lot of pre-orders that I thought I put in that I really didn't put in and so I thought I had this pre-ordered and I have not so oh, wow. I, I guess I need to get on the ball and you know start ordering some of these Hasbro figures that I thought I had pre-ordered so uh, I like it still I, I know you were out on it it I it looked better actually the the pictures we were seeing be prior to this these in hand images to my in my opinion i agree i think the gray looks too much like a normal grimlock gray and dark enough right yeah. and that neck but in alt mode i don't yeah. like the color of that it really sticks out um but i am like you said out on these mostly because if you look at this picture everybody is just a repaint of themselves the original Shattered Glass had Bumblebee as like a hot rod type character. Um, you know, Optimus Prime was still Optimus Prime, but Grimlock was the Grimlock with the, with the, with the bayonet, you know. Um, so it was more than just simple repaints. And I was hoping that's what Hasbro would do. They could even do simple repaints, but instead of making Blur Blur, make Blur Hot Rod or something that would make more sense. Um, so because they diluted Shattered Glass completely and they made it a boring repaint line, I'm completely out on these guys. It's so, it's so funny. Fans, if you're wondering the same thing as me, doesn't James love repaints? <laughs> I just knew you would I be don't like me. lazy repaints. <laughs> there you go. So, I mean, like, honestly, I'm thinking about getting the Tiger Stripe Grimlock, even though I got the other one thinking about getting that one as well um mm. but it's just i i expect more from shattered glass it's one of my favorite continuities i love the story behind it and i think because i love it so much when i see it watered down into this like bumblebee isn't supposed to look like bumblebee he's supposed a gold bug excuse me he's supposed to look like a sports car type of thing but he's just a bug type you know a, a little mini racer if they made him a repaint of even what's his name sideswipe if they made him a repaint of sideswipe i probably would have even been happier because he's supposed to be big and bulky and he's the leader of the seekers but they took all of that away they're making him simple repaints so that's why i'm i know you don't even know nothing about it so you're totally like oh it's cool i'm in for but, the color <laughs> yeah exactly but i i want him to actually represent the characters a little bit you know and i was all in on the shattered glass when i heard they were doing it 
I bought the Optimus and Ratchet. I bought the, all of the first wave. And then as it kept coming out, I was like, but that's not how Ultra Magnus is supposed to look. You already have the laser prime mold that Shattered Glass Magnus is supposed to be, but you make it out of that leader class mold. I didn't understand it at all. That makes no sense to me. They already had the mold he's supposed to be. And they changed it because they're lazy and they didn't want to have to mold a new head for it. So um, I can't, shame I can't, on you, I can't, Hasbro. I can't argue with you on that since I don't know, but I like the colors and that, and that did it for me. Yeah, well, that's fine. So I'll be looking forward to seeing this in your collection. Though. Yeah, if I ever put an order in for it, geez, I'm behind. <laughs> Uh, you'll get it for like $300 on the aftermarket. So <laughs> next we have MB09A and MB01, which is their um, trailers for fans, hobbies, uh, Scourge and G2 Optimus Prime. So here's the Scourge one. And here is the G2 one with the stickers. So I think we've already talked. I never got the Scourge set. I'm on the fence. I like everything that it comes with. But it's like $150, and I don't think I'm willing to spend that on a trailer. When I really just want his gun. So, yeah. And that's not my Scourge, or, or I, yeah, that's my, not my Scourge or my Prime. So, I did not pick either one of these up, and will not be picking up the trailers either. Yep. You're definitely missing out, because this Scourge has a lot more personality than G1 Scourge. So... And you can't argue with that. Let's go into what is coming in. Don't like the look. And the first thing is Aoi Mech LS18 Jazz. So this is a knockoff of the MP Jazz. It's a reissue. I'm assuming this originally came out in 2020. So if you still need a MP Jazz from the movies, go ahead and get it. I always kind of like this design. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to be picking it up, but I always thought this Jazz was an interesting design, and I don't know why they killed him off instead of that Ironhide, because this looks way better than the Ironhide from the movies. I mean, they killed him off because it's a Pontiac instead of a Porsche in the wrong P. <laughs> licensing. licensing. I, I mean, I get it, you know, but that did upset me. I, you know, so that was the issue. And now for Jazz to be Mirage, that's a whole nother. That's, Move that's, on. That's <laughs> um, I do like the way this looks, though, uh, in all honesty. I do like the way it looks. Uh, won't be picking it up, but I do like the way it looks. Yes, I agree. For all the Movieverse fans out there, let us know how it is. Yeah. So another thing that should be coming out soon is the Flame Toys Leo Prime. So this is already put together kit, so you don't need to build it. It's already painted and everything. And it's about $90. And it's really cool. This looks fun to mess with. I had action figures from like Mortal Kombat and stuff. So if I wasn't a Transformer collector, I would be picking this up in a heartbeat because it looks fun. But since I already have Leo Primes, I don't need another one. It looks it looks amazing. The posability is yeah. amazing. Uh -huh. um, I love the sword. This, yes, the, I think that's really cool. The arm shield, I can leave the cape is really cool um i i really do like this figure yeah me too i just wish it transformed even a little bit if it just like did like some swivel around and his arms go down and his legs go down i'd be like oh well you know i'm gonna buy it <laughs> probably, you know what <laughs> the transformation sucks but i probably would get it <laughs> Yeah, exactly it looks cool but it doesn't so um unfortunately i am out so now I put these next to on specifically for you. Oh God. Since you do like to collect tiny figures. <laughs> we've got Legends, Acid Storm, and Nova Storm, or I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right. Fur Fur and Le Rage. Don't know those names. I don't so, know. So will you be getting these guys? No, I will not. But, oh my god, Bobby! How are you gonna get your whole secret? You already got Starscream. It was it was a uh, it was on clearance, and I was dabbling a little in the legends. He needs his seekers. He's gonna be so lonely. That's okay. 
he has he has big brothers <laughs> that <laughs> have, have to watch I, over I, him. I have enough seekers in MP scale that he will definitely not be lonely. And actually, <laughs> in actuality, he'll probably get picked on. Uh, <laughs> I do I do like the way they look. Uh, I love the color schemes. And I mean, that's that's your asset right there. No, it's not. It doesn't have my ass. My my favorite acid storm is the one from Universe. So in Universe 2.0. So it had a dark, dark green blue as on its arms and legs. And it had this more darker color scheme altogether. And I really liked that color scheme. And I hope somebody comes out with that one because that's my acid storm. That's my first version of it. I think that was the first official acid storm toy to be quite honest with you um but they're making him brighter green like this to go with the g1 show boo they're smart no i just thought, i just thought you like the camouflage i'm i'm sorry i, I do like that i do I like that i've got to say few of the honestly camouflage. if this is how the make toys ones look like i would be picking it up in a heartbeat i would but i don't like all that white on the make toys ones hell yeah. If the hot link had looked like this and didn't have all that white on it, I would be picking the hot link up too. Yeah. The white really throws me off. I get it's probably screen accurate or whatever, but it just does not look good, in my opinion. I so, do wish uh, it was a little bit more silver, but I'm happy either way. And the other jet actually looks really good as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's they do. They both look really good. So now let's talk into something that I'm very excited about. I think you're very excited about, and that is the MH Toys Hurricane Orange Edition Shattered Glass Cyclonus KO made out of fans' toys Cyclonus. And I got the, um, I paid for it completely today. So I'm assuming you did as well. I did. And so um... I am. Very excited to get this in hand. Hopefully it'll be shipping out soon. As of this morning, they were still available on TF Direct, so if you need them, go get them. But I saw that. I almost yeah. put in another order for another one. <laughs> I'm surprised I you did it. I almost did. So, and I have to say, I really like that he comes with all of these different accessories. So he comes with the swords, he comes with the little hit pieces, he comes with a different head. Probably aren't, I'm not going to use excuse me, I'm not going to use them since that's not what the original Shattered Glass Rodimus looked like. But it'll be fun. I'll probably give him some of the swords just for giggles. So. Yeah, I'm I'm just really excited about the colors. It's going to look great. Um, and I'm actually happy for you to get a taste of, even if it is a, a KO, but a little taste of fans toys finally. Yep, yep. This will be the first one. I've almost got a few of them in the past, but they've all annoyed me in some way that it wasn't worth the money. Um, mostly with the thigh cuts, because they do hard thigh cuts instead of incorporating them into the, the upper thighs, which looks really cheap to me. Um, but for an $80 KO in colors that are nostalgic to me, I'll put all of that aside. Yeah, this is one of my favorite fig uh, favorite uh, char figures, I should say, not characters, but favorite figures and molds. So I'm really looking forward to it. You're going to have to read up on SG Cyclonus because he is literally the opposite. He's very treacherous and will stab you in the back and will do anything against Megatron. Very, star very Starscream-ish. Yes, and it makes sense because G1 Cyclonus is really loyal. So he's the opposite. Yeah. So um, that'll look, I think that'll look good fighting your, uh, oh, you don't have that. You don't have SGMP Prime. I do not. Oh, well, you know, if you do get that, this will look good fighting him. Yeah. Or being his right-hand man, depending on which way you go. Yeah. So unfortunately, we're going to talk about what's recently released, and there's only one thing, and we're kind of ending on a, off on a low note. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but that is that they found the Rise of the Beast mainline Nitro series 
What even makes it sadder is these are all repaints from the Bumblebee movie. Uh, it's... So... Well, what's funny is I was actually in Walmart today and I saw that Prime and his head was pushed down. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, that sounds about right. At least it wasn't ripped off. Like how I thought it was at first, and then I was just like, oh, wait, it's there. I saw a oh, Studio but... Series Jazz with his whole chest ripped off before. <sighs> yeah. I'm like, why? Why? I mean, I know the chest is the worst part on that figure, but why? I, I have a feeling that, you know, there's always those kids who uh, <laughs> would do stuff just because... <laughs> yeah, and then there's those people who, who actually, I need a chest. <laughs> Let me just grab this real quick. Mine yeah, broke. Yeah. Some something stupid like that, right? So, yes. Well, guys, that's everything we have for you today. Um, we'll be back soon with another round of news. Stuff keeps coming out, and we will be here to cover it. Yes. Yeah, so we're really looking forward to any comments. Where did we go wrong? What did we get right? Looking forward to talking with you all more. And as always, to all debates are one.